What's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com and in this video I want to talk about the Windows command line. Okay, so first of all, regarding yesterday's video, Engineer Truth, I do not hate his channel. I do not hate him. He's awesome. If you want to learn about realistic career videos, you should actually watch some of his videos. That video was just made out of fun. No, it wasn't to try to get more views like I got some comments or it wasn't that I hate that channel or anything like that. And no, I will not delete it because if I start deleting things, you know, that's something that connects with me. I thought it was funny and I posted it on the channel. I'm sorry if it, if it offends certain people, but again, my goal was not to actually go after somebody or hurt them or whatever. It was just a funny video. It was a big coincidence and I wanted to just talk about it. Well, anyways, don't worry because you will be getting a lot of awesome content soon, starting right now. So first thing I want to talk about was a lot, I'm getting a lot of questions on, okay, uh, hey Kazi, you made all these videos on the command line, but on Windows, do these commands even work? And my answer to that is no. The command line, that the built-in command line of Windows is very different. Tip number one that's going to be really beneficial for you is in Windows, there's something called PowerShell. So when you look up, um, command prompt, don't open up command prompt, like don't type in CMD. That's one of the weaker versions of the command lines. Open a PowerShell, it's much better. It has some functionality like Mac command lines or uh, Ubuntu command lines because Windows command lines sucks. And I hate to break it to you guys, but I've been using, I've used every operating system there is, but Windows command line has been the worst by far. It's such a pain to make many things work, even if you're working in different uh, programming languages and you're trying to do just import something, it will be so simple in every other operating system ever. But then in Windows, it'll have its like separate tutorial that you have to follow. But I understand it might not align with your budget getting a MacBook Pro or your ecosystem. So that's not what I want to recommend to you. Instead, I'm going to just show you guys something that will be helpful to you and valuable to you as you're following along these tutorials. So if you see me do things like PWD and stuff, if you open up the PowerShell, your PWD command should work, okay? Um, other commands like mkdir in the PowerShell should work. That's how you can make a directory. CD for changing directories should also work. RMDIR should also work. So if you can just open up literally PowerShell, Okay, that's how it is on Windows, P-O-W-E-R-S-H-E-L-L. -L. Most of the Mac built-in command lines like uh, should work. But if you're opening up the CMD for whatever reason and that's the one you want to use, then the commands of that um, are going to be a lot different, okay? But I would suggest use PowerShell because after Windows 7, they added that and I think that in, Win in Windows 10, it's definitely there as well. So use the PowerShell. And this resource that I'm on is called learnpythonthehardway.org. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. And it has some useful command lines that you could look up yourself and learn from. So maybe you could use these command lines and get ahead of the tutorial series that I'm teaching you guys. So you can use this to prepare yourselves and learn more things as well. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new and we will just get on, produce more awesome content and I'll show you guys some more cool things. All right, can't wait to see you in the next video.